I got the XB Days 2 here. I'm going to turn it on and give you an example um, of the ground that I'm hunting in in the farm fields. This is a hops field, and it's been a hops field for a long time. This is prime land right here. We have this permission to hunt it. Um, there used to be a settlement right on the other side of this field, an old mission with a hospital and whatnot. And so I'm going to explain to you why I do not hunt in farm fields. I, I really don't like hunting in farm fields because it's such a pain in the ass to be on top of when they're planting, when they're harvesting, when they're spreading chemicals, when the ground is hard as concrete like this right here in the summertime. It's no-go, right? Hard as concrete. And after they plow here, the ground is super hot. You take any metal detector, pet detector all over the soil here after they plow, it's like, right? Um, there's just no way to hunt it. Um, it's been about two weeks since they plowed this, so the this, the, chem, the, um, the minerals have settled a little bit here, but it's still pretty sparky. I found several, lot, lots of artifacts in this field here. So you got to be on top of so many, so many things, right? Um, and you got to have a good, um, you got to be in contact with the farmer, right? And so here there's, I live in the Willamette Valley and it's very fertile ground. So it's all farmland, right? It's all cultivated. It's all um, been worked. You know, there's, they're changing, they're, they're rotating crops every few years. So you, different crops are planted at different times of the year. So you really got to be on top of all that stuff. I'm, I'm just really not into all that stuff. And there's really not much history here. You know, this area was settled in the 1850s and up until 1900, there were really wasn't very many people in my area here there's just a few homesteads in my area so i'm just going to turn this detector on maybe in general program and then sensitive full to program and sensitive full tones program and then switch over to like the hot program and i'll show you what's going to happen here just with the stock programs here right off the bat okay i'll just turn the detector on here I found several dimes, silver dimes, and older stuff, you know, 1860s, 1870s, silvers over here. I found lots of mercury dimes over here. Um, but I'll just turn the detector on in general program here. I'll just ground mount it here. I'll just start in this line right here. Right. Sparky. The ground's hot here. Sensitive full tones program. Oh, ground balance here. Now listen to the difference here. Listen to it. This is the stock sensitive full tones program. Now I'll go to the hot program here. Basically a version of the sensitive full tones program here. Hot FMF program here. I'll ground balance it here. This is with a zero silencer here, right? And in square full tone here. Iron there. There's a nice uh, mid-tone here, probably a little piece of cancel out there. It's iron. Right, iron. And this is rough plow here, so, you know, once I start, um, there's a bone right there. There's a bone right there, a rib cage. Rib cage. Right there, see that? Um, once I start walking on here for about an hour or so, I am wore out because it's a rough plow. And after they roll this, you know, um, probably in about a month or so, they're going to come over and and uh, disc this, and then they're going to roll it, and it makes it flat. So um, the ground is hard as concrete, just like that in the summertime, 
you know this is this is an area where they did not plow yet or they just don't plow here and this is what I have to deal with right um if it's not a hops field it's an orchard if it's not an orchard it's a berry field we're, we're really big on hazelnuts and berries you know lots of berries in our area and lots of um just lots of different uh, very a, a variety of different crops it's very fertile ground here and it's clay right this stuff in the winter time is like soup right there's just no way to even get out here with any equipment with any farm equipment because it's just a mud pit right i mean you just end up getting all your machines stuck in the mud and in the summertime they have crops on them and we can't really get out here because they're always spreading or weeding uh, spreading chemicals or weeding or doing something to them so we have this little tiny opportunity maybe a few days a year that you, we're able to hunt on this and actually get something out of the ground most of the time we come out here and it's like nope can't go nope can't go nope can't go nope can't go because we have to get out here first and then ask you know when was the last time you did the chemicals or you know um just be in contact with the farmer and you know it's just a pain in the ass right for all all that work just for um a couple days a year just just not worth it maybe if this this um area was two or three four hundred years old if we had that history there that it would be worth it right and if and if the ground wasn't so hot um so we have to deal with a lot of adverse conditions you know when it, when it rains here this stuff just turns to soup right if it rained um in the last couple days here this stuff would be sticky pasty muddy mess i'll walk out here and i would have 10 pounds of mud on my feet here um we've had a little dry spell here the last few uh few days about the last seven days so it's um it's not too bad here but trying to trying to penetrate this ground here right trying to penetrate this ground here in the summertime is extremely hard you know and also too since since this ground has been cultivated for 200 years it's been pretty much plowed every year several times a year um all the all the artifacts you're going to find are going to be completely roached because if it's been ground up ground up and ground up and there's no way to get below this this plow line right here right watch i'll just dig a hole right here and you hit a, like a brick wall down there it's, it's the hard pan it's this it's this clay here right it's this dense clay see this see this clay here there's just no way to get through it without destroying stuff that's been in the ground for a while, right? And the stuff doesn't really go deep here anyway because not much can penetrate this stuff. Uh, not many coins or, or artifacts are gonna be able to penetrate this really dense clay here, right? You know, the, the coins that have been dropped are right near the surface. Most of the coins that I find have found in this field have been within three inches deep and they're just roached. They're just ground up but i've been hunting on this this property here for many years and um this is some prime field right here i'm telling you for this this area here there's a prime prime uh permission that jim and i have and we've had a lot of friends come out and hunt with us this is some really hard um adverse conditions to to be walking in right you it's it just takes a toll on your ankles and it just wears you out just walking part of it not even digging any targets if i walked down to the end of that um the end of this line down the tree line i'll be i'll, I'll be huffing and puffing right because you have to drag your feet getting over all these un, this uneven ground here that's just a few reasons why i do not like hunting in farm fields maybe if we had more history or if the, the ground wasn't so hot here um our ground is really sparky very highly mineralized ground here and just i just can't i just don't have an opportunity to get on the farm fields right um, i have to drive a long way to come out here and look and see what kind of condition the field is in because every time i come here it's it's different they're always plowing or tilling or um uh 
uh, disking or rolling, doing something in this field. So when I am out here, a lot of times the machinery is working in the field the same time as time as I am. I just need to be aware. And then when, when they have a crop here, I don't know where the machines are at. So when the crop is here, it's like a solid, there's just rows of crops, crop here, right? So I can't see on either side of me. So I don't know where the machines are at. So, well, there we go. Jim is, uh, Jim is, Jim was over there about a half a mile. He's across in the other field there. I saw him just a minute ago kneeling down on the edge of the property over there, but it was, uh, I don't know where in the heck he's at. He may have gone down the bank there. There's a relic dump all along the bank over there. Oh, I see him. He's, he's over there. He's about a, about a little over a third of a mile away, straight ahead, right over there. He just went, went along that edge over there, along the other field there. Well, thank you for watching.